So she had her hernia repaired, she had the hemangioma removed, and the hemangioma actually ended up being like underneath the skin and ended up being spread a little bit more. So this, the incision is pretty big. All right guys, good morning. So it is currently about 3.10 in the morning. And I gotta be quiet obviously because everyone's sleeping, but I have to make a bottle for Magnolia. Um, uh, apple juice and some water so um, she's having surgery today and she cannot have any liquids past 3 30 so I have to wait till like, the last minute I'm gonna feed her at 3 15 um, so hopefully she'll be done by 3 30 and I'm gonna try to get her to drink as much as possible we have to be at the hospital at 6.30 and her surgery is going to be at 7.30. So, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be okay and it's going to be good for her to get rid of that, um, I mean, geoma on her belly, so. So it is now 6 a.m. and we are going to give Magnolia kind of like a little sponge bath. Um, I don't know if Kaylin told you, but we had to give her a bath last night and this morning, so. So Magnolia, what do you think about having your first surgery today? Hmm? Are you calm and collected? Smooth and chill? Relaxed? Ready to go? So, we want to document what it is we're actually taking off. So, her hernia here was super big it was like out to here at one time and now it's been fixing itself so it's shrinking 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 but this right here all of this is really hard so they're taking that off today so that it can continue to fix itself and then her hermangioma which is in the worst spot ever right in her crease is so big and they're taking it off because it got like, it got rubbed mm -hmm. and it's just not, it's just in such a bad place. It's just not, they just need to take it off. Yeah. So we're going to take that off today. We're going to take the scar tissue off. Magnolia, are you ready? Got to give you a little bathy bath. You want to vlog? Okay, you vlog. I don't think we ever told you like what was happening. It just... It all happened so fast. Well, over Christmas, we realized that she, her hemangioma that's on her belly had gotten rubbed and it was like really, really gross and it was really, really painful. And um, so we called the doctor right away, her hemangioma doctor right away, and she said, send me a picture of it. So we took a picture and sent it to her and she was like, well, it's not infected, but I definitely want to see it. So we made an appointment with her um, to meet, or to go into the office on Wednesday. So we went into the office on Wednesday and she said, okay, I think it can be removed. I think that we can remove it. So I'm gonna send you over to pediatric surgery. So we went over to pediatric surgery and the nurse practitioner saw us and said, yep, we're, we'll remove it and we will remove it on Friday <laughs> and we will also repair her hernia at the same time. Do you get some toys in your new room? Mm -hmm. So Magnolia is in her gown with her little booties on. Are you ready for surgery, baby? What do you think? Huh? And while we were there, the doctor said that, oh yeah, I'm actually going to repair the hernia. So we're like, oh, well that's good. So she had her hernia repaired. She had the hemangioma removed. And the hemangioma actually ended up being like underneath the skin and ended up being spread a little bit more. So this, the incision is pretty big. So they went and took Magnolia back and we're gonna go to the waiting room and wait. I think 
they have like a little like TV and I think you have like their number or something, their surgery number, and you can see like where they are in the process. I think that's how it works. So. Hmm. Kind of like Domino's Pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you think about her having surgery, little book? I'm excited about it because I'm ready to be gone, but I just don't want her to have to have surgery. I mean, what parent wants their own child to have, to have surgery? But I'm glad for her to be gone. Yeah. And she seemed pretty happy for the most part. I mean, she's a pretty chill baby. I just hope it's going to be Yeah. Surgery is over and she did really, really good. So we are about to go back and see her. She's in recovery. All right guys, so this is actually like two days after her surgery and she's doing great. And the hemangioma actually ended up being like underneath the skin and ended up being spread a little bit more. So this, the incision is pretty big, um, but he said that it's in a really good spot that it'll just be hidden in like the folds of her leg, when like between her leg and her belly um, as she gets bigger. And it looks really good, huh? See, I have a belly button. I have a belly button now, yay! And I'm getting more teethies. Are you getting some more teethies? Who's that pretty baby? If you guys felt like you missed out on something, you didn't. We just didn't know she was gonna have surgery um, in two days. So, and then we had to get prepared for it. We had to like get stuff for her to eat and everything. Um, so yeah, it ended up all working out and she's doing great. Huh. I'm doing great and I have a belly button. I'm doing great and I have a belly button. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave a happy, friendly comment below. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're just